Hi there, everybody. Welcome to the beautiful city of Barcelona. Thanks for joining us. We're delighted to see you. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. The action is from La Liga. It's Barcelona against Hetafe. I love visiting this ground. Rarely been disappointed with the entertainment on offer. Don't think I will be today either. Intercepted well. Hit in low this time. You can see what he was trying to do, but the defender in the way. Barcelona's line up here. Marc Andre Testegen starts in goal. Jonathan Ta starts alongside Clement Longley at the back. And they're going to go with one striker up front. Barcelona get the throw. Here's the team for Hetafe. Probably one of the two front men will slip behind the other and, and augment the midfield when required I think so if they start getting overloaded in the middle of the park that's always an option for this manager who does like to fill his midfield intercepted well Well, you know this team, Alan, and how much they want to win. But in fact, a draw today would take them into a Champions League spot. But other games to come, of course, the die wouldn't be cast. No, and I think this is where the manager plays a big part to keep up the intensity of their play, the concentration right until the finish line. Well, you know all about Barcelona, I'm sure. You know about him too. I just wonder in this game, it might just suit him to uh, give a, a little... Can't put them in front here. It's still dangerous here off the goalkeeper. Brilliant defending. It saved a certain goal. He was almost wheeling away to celebrate there. Made sure the pass wasn't completed. Neat into passing from Barcelona. <laughs> Trying to steer it through. Oh, he's in the clear here. No flag. To be. Keeper's done very well here. Swung in from the corner. And he's dealt with it. That dangerous moment. In the Betis game, there has been a goal. Alan McAnally is there. It's a goal for Levante. 22 minutes played. 1-0. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Here's the yacht. Romero. Messi. He's chosen to cut it back now. Really good defending. If he hadn't touched it, it was a goal. Now, one of the keepers thanking him for that bit of closing down by his defender. To take the lead. The shot is blocked. Messi. Oh, and Messi, offside here, stopped in his tracks. Oh, that's a bad ball.
can whip it in now. He's aimed it in towards the front post. What a save! Romero. Plenty of width for the team to attack into. Oh, they couldn't keep possession, they've given it away. Break quickly when they get possession. Still progressing on the break. Well, that counter-attack didn't work, and they might be counter attack themselves now. Romero. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Referee has blown, and he's given the free kick. Robin Knocker. The goal that would put them in front with great vision here. The goalkeeper to the rescue. Well, it's one against one, and this keeper's got a good track record in those situations. Put the corner in the middle. It's great defending with the block. That's a great block. Romero. I oh, love that, the skill. Teammates getting out. Left the defenders trailing now, here's a chance. Oh, he has given the penalty. What a chance now. Well, that was a lazy challenge and it might end up costing his team the match here. Well, it's another chapter of drama here. The referee has pointed to the spot, he has shown the red card. Well, when the scores are level like this, it is a game that uh, you couldn't see who might win it, but I think we can now. for Barcelona trying to get themselves into the lead here that'll be a throw good reading of the play anticipating the pass Referee has chosen to add on two extra minutes. Real promise about that build-up until that challenge. Well, that is half-time, and the score is nil-nil here. Referee just checking everything is in order, and he blows for the second half to start. It's a very good interception. Alex Teles probing with the pass. He really gave it the laces there, didn't he, Alan? Yeah, he did connect with it beautifully. Not a bad effort at all. He's won it back easily. Keeping the ball well under some pressure. Ah, oh, he's taken it away there with a very good tackle. Our chance here for the break in the action to quickly remind you of EA Sports coverage coming up soon on this channel. The semi-final second leg Champions League fixture. Barcelona, they'll be facing Paris Saint-Germain away from home. And it was a really good first leg. I think the second one will repeat it. I think we're in for a treat. Got players helping him here, but he might go alone. Makes a challenge here, and that will be a free kick. More a uh, rebuke than anything else from the referee. He's just trying to talk the player into being a bit calmer, I think. He's been a bit rash, hasn't he? He has, but uh, I like to see that kind of refing. He's just given him a chance, and uh, he'll be hoping he heeds the warning. A well, space to get the cross in. In the Betis game, a goal that Alan McInerney can tell us about. It's a second goal for Levante. 56 minutes played, 2-0. Well, many thanks, Alan McInerney, keeping us up to date as usual. Alex Teles. 
As for Getafe, what about their next game, Alan? Yeah, they're playing Eibar in their next match in La Liga. I think they'll be fine. This with a chance to go into the lead now. Preston won the ball well forward. Well, they have cleared the danger. It was a decent opportunity, I think. It's Messi. A through ball from Messi. Doesn't quite get there. Chance for a break in numbers. The ball glued to his boots, it seems. Excellent work. Alex Telles. Romero. It's Messi. Attacking now. No doubt in the mind of the assistant. Put his flag up straight away. Yeah, it's a good call. I mean, the lad's just got to bend his run a little bit. And we're going to get substitutions from both managers. Oh, they've lost the ball. Giving it away, Barcelona. 20 minutes of the 90 still to play. In the Betis game, there has been a goal. Alan McAnally is there. It's a third goal for Levante. 72 minutes played, 3-0. Great to have Alan McAnally out and about for us. And he's brought us right up to date again there. Jelinski, Lionel Messi, excellent movement to get the pass and stay on side. All Peters out rather for them. Intercepted well. And now Messi. Such expectation within this ground, and uh, the Barcelona players throwing everything at it in the latter stages. Possession squandered by Barcelona. Read that well with the interception. Trying to find the opening, which would be so crucial. And we have nine remaining minutes. They can spread the play now. Sloppy work, really. Jelinski. Into the last five minutes now. And it's coming to a terrific conclusion, this game. Must take the lead here. He's turned it on to the frame of the goal. Oh, that's where a good goalkeeper can be so important over the course of a campaign. He, he certainly came to his team's aid there. A poor attempt at a pass, really. That's a good ball. Switch the play with it. Good interception there. Added time coming up. There will be two minutes of it. Mutual can 
A big night at a great venue, the Parc des Princes, here in the French capital, Paris. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And PSG will need all their time if they're to turn things around in the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. It's Paris Saint-Germain versus Barcelona. Thanks, Derek. Welcome, everybody. PSG have it all to do after the first leg. You just wonder how they're going to respond. They lost by a big margin, not good enough in all departments need to apply pressure, need an early goal to try and get back into this tie. And they get the ball rolling in the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. And here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. The Swiss international, Jan Zoma, is the goalkeeper. Trent Alexander-Arnold. different ways to configure an attack in this case it'll be two men up front throw in forthcoming for Barca well this is what we think for Barcelona Marc-Andre Ter Stegen starts in goal good Zuma plays alongside Clément Langlais in the centre of defence and in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack Alexander-Arnold well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Lee, in particular, what do you expect to see from his game? Well, as soon as you start putting the ball in the net, three goals in the last three games, that breeds confidence. And when you've got a player that sharp in front of goal, he's a huge asset to the team. Just drifted into the illegal position, offside, in the opinion of the officials. Wage. And the focus of attention on Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang ahead of this game. And for Ports are to be believed, this could be his final season as a footballer. Could it be he's about to hang up his boots, Lee? Well, I'm sure he'll think long and hard about it when the time is right. He has earned the right, though, to make that decision himself with his performances. He'll miss it, though, if he does retire, I can tell you. I do. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Kurt Zuma. Messi. And it's with Tomasz Suchek. Messi. Surely! And it was straight up the keeper, but technically good goalkeeping. Havertz in possession Follant Shaw Mbappe couldn't hang on to it Anthony Martial Kai Havertz given away well just couldn't keep himself onside well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage.
Out here doing what they never did. Sleep is a cousin of death. It's probably why I got so many relatives. Landing in Brazil on a villa. From the Sidda to Dell, but a sinner. They said my dreams wouldn't never get bigger. The face of an angel, but the mind of a Yo, I got, I got, if I ever get provoked, lying in the devil's block, you're regretting what you sow. Blessings are the woes, it's the heaven where you go. Let me know the price you're selling for your soul. When you're selling demons belling on your phone, the concrete rose was never gonna grow. I'm gonna sign my deal on one condition. When it's my time, just let it know. Nearly died the other day. More time, I feel like I just wanna run away. Picture perfect now, I'm paying picture with flows. Chain to your love, sugar coat and gold. Granddad told me your shit gone so. Bad man, which part? Bad man gone chill. Where's my? I need that. Pick up, pick up, then off to the. Now I'm in prison by decision. Should've listened to my granny. Had a vision of bringing all my to the Grammys. All my dying one by one. Pray that my mommy don't find my. Uh, pick my part for a reason. Make some apple pies from the garden and eat them. Uh, your main course now. Who you saying for dessert? Mom cried tears. She's my name. The wait is over. There are few bigger days on the football calendar than Champions League final day. Fans are beginning to pour into the stadium and the tension is palpable. It's Real Madrid and they take on Barcelona. It's coming up live next on EA TV. It is something very special indeed to make it to a UEFA Champions League final. Now these two teams intent upon tasting glory. Welcome to the showpiece event on the European club calendar. Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined tonight for live coverage by the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. It's Real Madrid facing Barcelona. Well, it's an absolute pleasure, Derek, to be here. Very, very lucky indeed to be broadcasting to millions and millions of... And he takes on the shots. Wonderful save from Marc-André Ter Stegen. Keeping it out the net is his speciality. What a save that is. Played into the centre of the box. 
Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. No doubt about it, Aidan Azar, well, he did his best to remain onside, but just failed. Yeah, he was close, he was close, but that's all it needs to be, close, he was offside. Here's Insigne, straight down the throat of the opposition. It is the game that the world truly focuses on. The Champions League final, only two teams left in the quest for European glory. Who's it going to be tonight, Lee? Well, it's a toss of a coin for me. It's a really big night for everybody. All that hard work leading up to pre-season training, going through your domestic league, playing Champions League on and off, the winter break, all of that culminates in tonight. Very, very big night for everybody concerned, supporters, but most so the players. They have to stay focused, play the game, not the occasion. Well, many have remarked upon the hosts and their preferred style, which is one of high pressing and trying to get the ball back quickly. Lee, do you expect to see more of that in this game? Yes, Derek, high pressing is their game, but there is a risk attached to it. If the opposition break through that press early on, you can be left vulnerable at the back. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. Danger averted. Dembele. Well, this might pay dividends. And he has just veered into an offside position this time. Eriksson. Trembley. Christian Eriksson now. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Smuggled away. Now Casemiro. Eriksson. Trembley. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Now Casemiro. Rodrigo. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Crossing possibilities. Ericsson! Well, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. Well, this could be a chance for Real Madrid to jump ahead from a corner. It's one corner after another. Keen to take it short here. And the cross not quite accurate enough. And in with a real chance. And the goal gaping at him. A goal for Barcelona. The Blaugrana out in front in the Champions League final. So how important will that be for Barcelona to get their noses in front? That remains to be seen. Well, when we see this again, it is a wonderful effort, solo effort. Got to question the defenders. They just back off him, and he takes full advantage. Underway again with Barcelona in the lead. Valverde. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Suchek, Ramiro, and breaking at pace with Menes. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. Eriksson, firing it in. Well, it was fired straight at the keeper. No real difficulties for him. No, decent position from the goalkeeper. Poor shot, to be honest with you. It's with Lucas Klostermann. Casemiro. Casemiro, wonderfully weighted pass. The end product just wasn't there. And it's with Tomasz Suchek. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Oh, nice ball over the top to chase. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Christian Eriksen now. 
Well, it was so close to leveling there, Derek, weren't they? But the keeper had other thoughts. It was really good goalkeeping from him, wasn't it? Real Madrid are totally dominant. The tackle completely missed time, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And the referee has determined that that is a bookable offence. I don't think he could think anything else after that challenge. It comes to absolutely nothing. And now De Frey. Mendy has it. It is a decent looking attack here. And that is how to thwart them. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Casemiro. Tremblay. Eriksson. It's with Lucas Klosterman. Rodrigo. And a half-baked clearance. Half-time then. And we're sorry for the pause in the proceedings here, Lee, because this has been a thoroughly riveting Champions League final so far. Well, it has. Great game. Sometimes finals... Fine goalkeeping, real. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. De Jong, good control under pressure. Wage, Jonathan Tarr has it, Ramiro, Roselso, Alex Tellez, it leads an accurate cross, an easy meet for the keeper given that cross. Well, there's no getting away from it. He has been the subject of transfer speculation. Lee, what are your thoughts on the matter? Well, Derek, there's nothing like a transfer rumour to liven a dressing room up. Puts a spring in the step of the players, especially if you hear he plays in your position. No sell, sir. Lionel Messi. Frankie de Jong. At times, he's in with a chance. Again, and what a team effort this is. Pass, pass, pass. We love to see goals like this. In the end, there's nothing the defence can do about it. Brilliant, wonderful goal. It's going their way. 2-0. Hazard. Clear foul for a Real Madrid advantage. And it will be a free kick to Real Madrid. He's been admonished by the referee. He's now got to walk something of a tightrope. Yeah, he knows exactly where he stands. Look at the referee, how he's told him off there. No yellow card, but certainly knows what the referee's thinking. And crossed in the direction of the back post. He succeeded in getting his fist to it. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Dembele. Klosterman. Dangerous looking through ball. Gliding through the gears. Suchek, Messi, Roselso, and it's with Tomasz Suchek, Dembele, Ramiro, magnificent challenge to win it back, he might be able to profit from the wide position, he has time to play it over, 
What a fight for the header, but far too straight to worry the keeper. Yeah, meat and drink for a goalkeeper of that class. Slipshod passing. And now Rodrigo. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Aidan Azar waiting to pounce. And a harmless cross gobbled up. Here's Lo Celso. Wage. Messi. Ramiro. Lionel Messi. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Back from the byline. And he scored not once but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Here's the replay, and I can see why the keeper's a little frustrated. He thought he got enough on that to keep it out, but it's just come past him, and he's unlucky, really. Well, let's go back to the goal that was scored. The ball rolling again, and what has been an utterly one-sided match. And now Rodrigo. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. And the offence sufficiently sinister to warrant a yellow card. Yes, agree with that one, Derek. He's got to be careful now. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Fine goalkeeping to push that away. Only 10 minutes remaining here. Well, given that we're in the second half, and it has got a bit ugly from the scoreline point of view, what positives can you find, Lee? Well, very rarely do I give Real Madrid 5 out of 10 for a performance, but that's what they're getting tonight. Not good enough at all. Disjointed, no cohesion. Work to be done on the training ground next week, that's for sure. Lo Celso. Messi. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Messi, shot attempted, suffice it to say his edge is blunt, poor effort. Well he got a lot right there but he got one thing wrong and that was the finish. And it's with Tomasz Suchek. Messi, Suchek, De Jong, it's with Alex Teres. Longley. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Alex Tellez has it. And the final whistle, the cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. And Lee, memories are being made. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't matter how much money you've got in the bank. Players will always look back at moments like these. These moments where you pick trophies up and win medals. Absolutely brilliant for this group of players. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. And as a player, Lee, as a Barcelona player in this case, this is what you want to experience. Well, it is. You have expectations at the start of the season, all those long, hard training sessions in pre-season. You kind of need a goal to get through that pain. And focusing on winning trophies for Barcelona will be that carrot that they need. It's Barcelona's Champions League! And they've got to savour this. It's not every night this comes along. Well, it probably will be here next year, you never know. <laughs> the way they play, but fully deserved, and they'll have uh, celebrations right throughout the night with their families and friends. The cup with the big ears, as it's affectionately known. And this is the moment there, it's sharing it with the supporters. You get a chance to take it a little bit closer to those stands. Let them enjoy the experience with you. 
and the families are up there in the stands as well. A brilliant occasion. It took fire as well as ice on the pitch. Necessary qualities. I'm more than I show you my more, but you don't understand that I love you. 